Hello, this is the Slow Growth and today I'd like to show you an application that I've been working on to make the tuning of analog VCOs and VCFs a little bit easier. I have this Bifaco Even VCO right here that I built and it needs to be tuned and I'm going from my computer into a MIDI interface into the Mutable Instruments Yarns. From the CV output on the Yarns I'm going directly into the volt per octave input of the even VCO and then I'm taking the triangle wave directly into my sound card. So the traditional way of tuning would be to fire up a tuner. I have guitar rig here. Okay, you can see the tuner is working. And then you would uh, basically send MIDI notes of different pitches and see if they track. So I have reactor right here set up to send some MIDI notes in different octaves. So this should be something like a middle C. I'm now tweaking the fine tune control. Okay, and if I now send a MIDI note 12 semitones above this, this should also be a C, but it's not. So now it's time to tweak the trimmer and see if you can get it in tune. So I go back to the bass pitch now. And as you can see, this is not a middle C anymore. So I have to tweak the fine tune control again. Going back to the octave above. You can see we're a little bit closer, but it's still not there. And yeah, basically, this is the way you would typically typically do this. You would uh, alternate between different octaves and see if they track. And every time you adjust the trimmer, you also have to adjust the fine tune control again to bring it back to a specific note. And this is very tedious, and I'm not going to do this. Instead, I've written this application that I'm going to show you now. Let's fire this up and bring the sound back for a second. So the first thing you do when you fire up this application is you click the audio settings right here and you select your inputs and outputs. So basically I have this USB MIDI interface that I've been talking about. This is this one, I select this, I select the appropriate MIDI channel and then I select my audio input which is channel 19 on my Midas uh, Venus console. This is where I have my even VCO coming in. So let's close this, bring back the sound, and I just click this start button right here. And now you can hear it's alternating between different pitches. So basically what it does, you have this pitch range right here, and the numbers right here are the MIDI notes. So right now I have selected a medium and coarse range, which means the middle C and the C above it and below it. Um, this is the lowest note in the range, this is the highest note in the range, and this is the interval. I can also select half an octave as the interval. And you can see it added this measurement and this measurement here. Basically the way this works is it measures the length of one period of the incoming audio signal by looking at the zero crossings from the negative side to the positive side. And right now it's set up to measure 20 periods but you can also increase this to 400 periods. Of course it gets more accurate the more periods you measure. And according to this range it starts um, with a pitch right in the center of the range and this is going to be the reference pitch so everything else that is measured is compared to this reference so it doesn't really matter if the reference is a middle C or anything else and this is what makes it uh, so nice and so easy to use so after this reference pitch has been measured it then starts at the lowest pitch and goes up by this interval right here so this is uh, the lowest pitch 6 semitones, 6 semitones, 6 semitones, 6 semitones And after it's taken a measurement, basically it uh, shows you how much this measurement is off from where it should ideally be. So 
Let's just go ahead and select this course range again. I press the start button and now I'll simply tweak the trimmer on the even VCO and see if I can get it in tune. So this is pretty good already, and what you can see now, there's not only these green lines here that indicate the pitch that was measured, or the offset from the ideal pitch, there's also these green bars around those lines, and those bars basically say uh, how big the uncertainty in the, me in the measurement is. So as you can see, the tracking is pretty good right now in this uh, range of basically two octaves. I have a maximum deviation of around about one cent, which is very good. So now it's time to increase the range a little more. You can see it's far off in the higher octave, so I can tweak the high frequency just. Okay, so without taking more time, this is uh, the best I can get in this short period of time. I could go on, but for the sake of this video, this is okay. So let's stop this. Um, what you can see here, I can of course increase the accuracy of the measurement, the resolution. Then the whole measurements take a little bit longer. But well, for the sake of tuning, usually it's okay to choose a low resolution. Okay, so when I'm done, there's also this uh, create report button and this is meant for basically doing the same thing again it will do the same measurement in this huge and fine resolution range with the highest um, possible accuracy and then it will produce a png image file that you can save on your computer that contains all the information about the device you've been using about the results you got basically the same chart as here but in a high resolution and you can use this to, I don't know, print it, stick it to your wall as a trophy, upload it on the internet, compare it to other VCOs. And in order to make these reports comparable to each other, it is necessary to um, have the ranges centered about a common frequency. So this is what I'll be doing here in the first step of the report. As you can see, it's asking me to adjust the fine-tune control in order to get a 440 hertz um, frequency and I'll do this now okay now it's started the measurement and I can enter some information about the devices I'm using um, it's very important not to touch anything during the measurement. This is taking a lot of time because it's measuring basically all the notes between MIDI note 24 and 96 in high resolution. This really will take a few minutes. So in the meantime you can enter some information here. I've done this already so I can click this button and then it's just a matter of waiting. Okay, so the measurement is done. It took just a couple of minutes. And this is the report that you get when it's done. Uh, basically, what you can see is here the device on the test, the CV interface, um, the sample rate, and so on. And there's also a little place for the notes. As you can see, I didn't take a very good job here in the high ranges. 
I should have taken a little bit more time to do it. But anyway, for the sake of this video, this is okay. So what I can do now is I can click this save report button and it will save this, this whole report image here to my hard drive. Yeah, basically that's it. That's all I can show you. It's uh, in a very, very, very pre-alpha state. There's probably a lot of bugs in it. So if you download this and have a play with it, by the way, you can download the source code from my um, GitHub repository right here. Um, if you download this and find a bug, please go to my GitHub page, go to the repository, click on issues, new issue, enter a title for your bug, enter a description or a comment, give me some information about how to reproduce the bug and submit it and I'll see it and I'll take care of it and see if I can fix the issues. So this whole thing is open source. You can take a look at the source yourself. You can tweak it, you can modify it, you can send me pull requests. And I hope this makes tuning a little bit easier for you. Anyway, enjoy it. See you soon.